Let's take a look at how to configure Xcode for pure data external development. I've created a project folder on my desktop, and it has the pure data source code as downloaded from GitHub, and as well a folder that has the patch that I'll be testing my external in. Let's open Xcode, and we'll choose to create a new Xcode project. And what we want is within the OS 10 category, framework and library. Then we will type the product name, which is Polybang. Make sure that there's no framework, it's just C, C++, and its type is dynamic. Then within my project folder, I will save it. And now we will hide the utilities pane. And with Polybang selected in the navigator, we'll choose build settings. And what you see here might be different than what I see, and that's because I've configured it to show all and levels. Under architectures, I will click once, and I'll want this to be universal, so both 32-bit and 64-bit. Under build active architecture only, I'll say no. Then I'll scroll down and find linking. And here, under other linker flags, double click, Choose the plus and type dash undefined space dynamic underscore lookup. And it's critical that it be in this order. So dash undefined space dynamic lookup. Click outside of this box, scroll down again. And in the packaging section under executable extension, double click. And this won't be dylib, instead it'll be pd underscore Darwin. Now under executable prefix, I will select it and hit delete. Finally, for the product name, I'll double click and type polybang in lowercase. Now it's important here that this name be the same as the external as you'll actually call it within pure data. Now we need to incorporate the pure data headers into our project. So what we'll do is we'll go to the source code and in the source folder, we'll look for m underscore pd.h. Let's go ahead and open that. We will select all and copy. And then in our project, we'll create a new file. That's a header file called m underscore pd.h. We will attach it to the target. And then we'll paste the contents of the m underscore pd.h file in the source code. Now, truthfully, we could have dragged it from the source code into our project and then typed a relative path um, in our project. but I'd rather just have it in the same folder and just create it anew. The last thing that we need to do is to create a C file that matches the name of our product. So create a new C file and it will be called polybang. And we don't need to create a header file. Choose next. Make sure it's within our project folder and it's attached to the target. Choose create. And now we're ready to develop our external in Xcode.